All right, everybody. For uh, the folks that have already uh, subscribed uh, and want to get a better uh, idea of what I'm doing, uh, here it is. Uh, this is the front end all put together. Well, not put together, but pieced together just for now. See how the fitment and alignment lines up. And yeah, it is a, it's a 99 Acura Integra. It's a GS model that's been converted as much as I can to what I like. And uh, here it is. I know last time you were kind of hidden from all the goodies, but here it is this time. And I just want to show you what I'm doing today uh, in the last couple of days. Uh, the last couple of days I was working on the intercooler and radiator setup to uh, have it fit with the Mugen front bumper. And this is an authentic bumper, no copycats here. And let me just show you guys the last four to five hours of what I've been doing. I have an intercooler in here. It's the Garrett 400 horsepower barn plate with the ATP cast um, ends on it. You have uh, the, the OEM HIDs and here's, here, this is the hood. Uh, I'm trying to get this thing up. The hood's not latched on anything right now. Engine is barren, no engine yet, but the uh, radiator is uh, it's put in place by a zip tie right now, just to see how uh, the uh, spacing and everything else would go. So there it is. Uh, let me get you the view from the top. So it's a two and a half inch radiator. It's a dual pass, two and a half inch thickness for the radiator. And as you can see, only about um, only about an inch is actually protruding out. So it kind of gives you that clean look. Not a tucked look, but definitely clean. Look really closely down here, you have the, uh, the intercooler. That sits right up against the Mugen front bumper. So I have to probably properly align everything so they don't touch. And had to cut this headlight support out to clear the radiator on the side because if you don't it won't clear the uh, the griffin cap so I had to do that and um, let's see put in my oh yeah I put in the other left headlight also just to just to make sure everything looks good and if you guys don't know this has been a build for a while it used to be running and they had to rebuild everything and now I'm just uh, putting it all back together. It looks pretty good for most people. As of right now, if I would only just paint it, and I do get a lot of that from the uh, the forums, people tell you just paint it and drive the way it is, and it'd be great. But uh, it's just not, in my opinion, up to date. This is more like a uh, 2002 build as it sits. For a 2012, uh, you got to do some a little bit. Um, at least in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, something that's a little faster, you know. So uh, there's a lot of influence from the uh, the world of uh, motorsports for this build. So this is how we're gonna keep it. And as you can see, a lot of the parts here are not your ordinary parts. And uh, keep you posted on the other things I've done. Today's uh, idea is to build intercooler piping, which I have right here. A box of intercooler pipes from uh, CX Racing. Not endorsing any products here. Uh, I am more of like a uh, independent reviewer for parts. So if I see anything that's uh, not worth buying, or if I bought something which I already have that is not perfectly gonna work, and I have to modify it, I'll let you know. And of course, all the custom parts that'll be on the uh, car and. Uh, yeah, that type of stuff. So stay tuned. There's a lot of things uh, some people might want to know. Some a lot of things that people might already know. Some things people might have already are overlooked. Uh, things like that. But I'm trying to build this build as uh, as clean and as uh, proper as possible, according to my standards, of course. And um, the idea for the car is that it is going to be a very good street car 
with track influence on it. So with that being uh, the idea of the build, uh, there's not going to be air conditioning because you know, race cars don't have air conditioning. And uh, a lot of your, uh, even Honda S2000, the CR models, they do not come with uh, air conditioning and air conditioning is a uh, an option. So that's what I've been uh, kind of looking at. This is not going to be a daily driver. It's more like a weekend track car. But you can still drive it to the local car meets and you can still drive it to like car shows. And uh, it should fit right in in the car show crowd. Okay. But it's also got to give you the good numbers uh, once it comes to the drag uh, slips and the, uh, the time lapse. Okay. So that's the whole build on it. And as you can see, here's already some parts here in front of us that uh, is track influenced or is proven uh, by other companies to uh, to work okay so uh, stay tuned I'll uh, update you whenever I can okay and for uh, so for uh, credibility behind the build before the build even starts I don't have much credibility personally uh, I have never built anything like this before and I think most of my viewers are gonna be the same thing too like they've never built anything of this caliber before um, but I can tell you it's not that bad from what I've been reading, from what I've been doing. Um, some of these things are really actually related to my job a little bit. And uh, I have uh, three guys. It's basically the three main guys. It's me, Connery. We have uh, <clears throat> 47 and we have Hybrid Killer working on this. And we come from the uh, my other uh, YouTube channel. But we also love, uh, we also love cars too. And in the past, uh, we've actually worked on cars more than we do anything outdoors. So this has been one of the first projects that started the whole car craze for us, but we've never been able to finish it because it's such a big project. And just to give you some ideas, I'll flash in some pictures of uh, what we've done in the past. Um, we've built uh, an S2000, completely repainted it and everything. We've built another Integra, another JDM front Integra that uh, we put together in three weeks for a local car show. Uh, we didn't win anything, but we did a lot of uh, interesting stuff, a lot of uh, last down to the minute uh, modifications, things like that. And I'll flash that up as well. We also uh, done a lot of uh, customer cars in the past. Not a lot of paint and things like that, but a lot of uh, engine stuff as well. And uh, here's our there's our dad. He thinks this build is crazy. Hey there. Okay, so what are the uh, power potentials that I'm expecting out of this car? Well, I don't know yet, but I'm shooting for 300, about 350 to the wheels uh, for my autocross and uh, circuit racing setup. And, you know, with a drag race setup, I'm looking at about 400, 425, right around there. And that's all possible due to the AEM EMS that I have, along with the uh, boost controllers and everything else that I have coming into this car, which uh, you guys don't see yet, but I already have those parts. And they will show up when the uh, appropriate time comes, okay? And uh, that's the build.